This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Steam is on Linux. Being the hands-on type of people we are, we had to try it out for ourselves. Our favorite online gaming platform and our favorite free operating system is the free operating system of choice. The future of Steam, perhaps boxes, or is it a seething cauldron of open source pain? Joining me, the pain master himself, Mr. Roger Chang. Hello. We both set up Linux boxes on our Windows gaming machines. Yes. We both had absolutely no problem installing and getting Steam to run through the, the package managers, the software yep. installers. You are actually running Half-Life on the screen yeah, as we speak right now. Yeah, this is uh, Half-Life Source. And as you can see, this is running off my Linux box. Um, it works fine. Now, th th the issue, though, is there's a there's a... What issue? Steam <laughs> is running on Linux. We're done. Okay, there's a so, very short list of Linux games on Steam. There's a very short list, uh, but more than that, um, Linux has a very short list of drivers that they uh, constantly keep up to date. Right. So the older the card you have, it'll fall off, and if it's too new, they won't have drivers ready for it. Well, let's, let's sort of narrow this down a little bit. So you have a GPU, you have a 3D graphics yep. accelerator. There's a whole bunch of things in the code that makes that fast. AMD and NVIDIA don't really want to share those secret pieces of code. So yes. there's no, they don't open source their drivers. They don't open source the drivers. They do release Linux drivers or right. Linux versions of their drivers. The problem is that it's a back burner project, something they want to do for the community, but right. it's not something that necessarily brings them money. Right. So it's not at the top of the to-do list for them. And for my card, I have an older legacy 4870, HC 4870. That's considered a legacy driver because they don't support it anymore because it's a five-year-old card. You need to downgrade. I needed to downgrade Ubuntu's Xorg or their X Windows Manager in order to get any sort of 3D acceleration from that card. In my case, I was at the opposite end of the spectrum, a GTX 670, a relatively new, extremely fast NVIDIA GPU. Turns out under Ubuntu, the latest version of Ubuntu, apparently there's a known issue that 12.10 won't really recognize it or install it. So I went to try a manual installation, didn't work. Tried it on 32 and 64 bits, didn't work. Tried 12.4, still didn't work. So now I'm wondering, if there's some other hardware issue involved. But the end result is, you know, you, either your 3D drivers, 3D graphics acceleration is working or it's not working. And what happens if you try to use Steam on a first person shooter if you have no 3D acceleration? It uh, won't run. And so in some cases, <laughs> in some cases you will get an error. I got several errors right. from, uh, granted it was Sirius Sam, but uh, I basically <laughs> said that the driver was too old and it wouldn't run. Right. Um, and, the, and that's kind of one of the things about Linux. It's it's great, it's open source, but no one shares the ultimate response. There's no kind of like, okay, you're ultimately right. the guy in charge for making everything work, because that's not how it's built. Um, so what you have is kind of this kind of chicken or egg thing is like there won't be more games, there won't be more developer support until Linux becomes more widely adopted. But right. Linux won't become more widely adopted as a, as a consumer uh, OS until right. there are more of these popular games, applications that people have on Windows and even OS X. Unless Steam takes the lead because Steam is really pissed off about Windows yep. 8 and have, have ramped up their efforts on OS X and Linux as a result. And, uh, you know, my opinion is this. For example, they Steam or Valve got uh, this particular game, Half-Life, to mm -hmm. run. Unfortunately, they don't have any of their other games, the more popular ones like Left 4 Dead 2, they're all right. based on the Source engine. Um, and granted, they're old, but they're still new enough that people would still enjoy playing them, but they're not currently available. If Valve, in my opinion, took control and released their own kind of gaming distribution of Linux, it would go a long way because at least there is kind of one fork that everyone would adhere to. Right. And, you know, NVIDIA ATI could create drivers or at least maintain drivers that would be, you know, there's a uh, semblance of compatibility that you get with Windows. So, in summary, we are excited that Steam is on Linux. Steam runs great on Linux. 3D drivers on Linux is either a bag of hurt or something that you're staring at the monitor throwing things because obviously Roger and Patrick are stupid and 3D is easy on Linux. Give us an email, techzilla at risen3.com or post in the show note comments if we're on YouTube or of course you can always tweet at techzilla on the Twitter. We got more techzilla coming right up, but before we do that, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Need a new domain name? You should be thinking about a .com. Look. Com. It is the original, the best, globally understood, gives your website immediate credibility no matter what name you choose. A little goofy name, a .com on the end, makes it sound okay. Look, best place to find a new .com domain? At domain.com. 
Here at Tagzilla, we like Domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. And hey, they got an active social media presence, so if you got a problem, and I doubt you will, just tweet at Domain.com or pick up the phone. Great customer support makes it a fun place to do business. Not enough for you? That's okay, because we have a fat 20% discount off Domain.com's already low prices. All you need to do is use the coupon code TECHZILLA when you check out at Domain.com. That is 20% off, people. Big time savings. Don't forget, give that TechZilla coupon some love and save some money. And hey, when you think domain names, think Domain.com. And you notice, that's a .com.